Normally, there is a, a showcase of your final projects, and that got canceled this year due to COVID. What did you think when you first found out that the, the showcase, the festival was moving online? I felt pretty lucky to like be working in the medium that I am, which is animation, because like being able to reach a wider audience than if, than if it were like an in-person exhibit was I think a pretty good thing. Can you tell me about uh, Johannes de Young's class at CMU and what you guys were doing, what you were learning? Um, I really enjoyed his class because we got to explore with so many things and experiment with so many different techniques and also learn about kind of the theory of animation, which is really interesting because it has like a really rich history. I love to experiment with the, te the technologies that he has taught us. How much collaboration goes on between you and your, your classmates? Like, do you guys work together? Do you pitch each other ideas? Do you show each other work? Um, what's, what's the relationship like there? Yeah, I'm gonna miss that relationship. Uh, I'm gonna try to prosper as much as I can because so much of it was like, let's critique each other's work and be honest about it. Let's like actually talk about the stuff that you're doing. And to me, that was always very valuable. I had so many critiques that have opened me up to new references that have like changed my perception of like my work that have really allowed me to gain the confidence to talk about my work today. There's so much effort that goes into animation. How does it feel to like see a finished work? You know, now I watch it and it's just like a really satisfying feeling to be like, I started doing this in September and now it's May and I kind of willed this thing into existence. I've always been drawn to the animation because I've loved the fact that I can show more of a hand, like that there's a personal touch or there might be a little scribble or a mess up, but that's that proves to the viewers that like there's a human behind this, which I really like. So if you're making something and you totally animating every component of it, everything needs to be pre-planned ahead of time and you have to, you know, really put in a lot of thinking into how each shot is going to work and how each character is going to move. But if you're using motion capture, you can sort of take more of like a director role and see what the actors can come up with and then build your shots based around that. What about the final product makes it worth it for you? I guess in short, I want my animations to give viewers a sense of feeling insignificant, just that they've delved into this strange little world that's both fictional and non-fictional, sort of like a dreamland. I do 2D computer animation, hand-drawn. You basically just draw every frame digitally. And how many how many frames are in uh, you know a, a thirty second video? And drawn animation, there's twelve frames per second, and then so in the thirty second video, that'd be three sixty drawings. So three hundred sixty drawings for a thirty second video. And how mm -hmm. long is is Cave Dream? Cave Dream is four minutes and I think like thirty seconds. So you're talking about an immense number of drawings for for something like this. Do you just love doing it that much? The process itself is really brutal and like tedious. I think the fun part is like coming up with the idea and like the key shots, but if you like like the outcome, then you gotta just go through like drawing every little thing, you know?